Game Overview Ion is a simple card drafting game where players select from a number of available Ion cards and Noble Gas cards, with the objective of forming either neutrally charged compounds or sets of stable Noble Gases. Game Setup To set up the game, first, place two compound goal cards face up in the center of the table. If there are five or more players, then place three. Then, flip four element cards face up in the center of the table. If any of the cards are the same, continue drawing cards until all four are unique. Each player is then given a set of three action tiles at random and dealt eight element cards. Gameplay Gameplay takes place over three rounds. The process for each round is exactly the same until the final scores are counted at the end of phase three. During gameplay, players must select one of the element cards in their hand and place it face down in front of them. Once all players have placed a card face down, they will reveal them simultaneously. The revealed card must be either bonded to another element card in front of them, thus forming a compound, or set alone. Next, all players should pass their remaining element cards to the player on their left and repeat the steps just described. Select a card and place it face down. Reveal cards simultaneously, either bond that card or set it alone, then pass the remaining cards. This process is repeated until players are left with only two remaining cards, which are then discarded instead of passed. This marks the end of a round. Next, you'll score points for that round, but before we get into that, let's go over the action tiles. Action tiles. At any point during the game, a player may choose to flip over any number of their action tiles. These actions are in addition to the card selection process described previously. Once a player flips an action tile, it is exhausted for the rest of the game. By flipping the Select 2 action tile, a player may select and play two element cards from their hand instead of just one. By flipping the Take from Center action tile, a player may select one element card from the available element cards in the center of the table and play it in front of them. By flipping the Reaction action tile, a player may rearrange any or all of the element cards in their player area and or take any one non-scoring card from another player's area and play it in their own. Counting points scored Counting points is simple. All sets of cards bearing a neutral charge score points. All cards that are left with unbalanced charges score zero points. For example, a card with one positive charge will balance out the charge from a card with one negative charge as long as they are bonded. Since the negative and positive charges balance out, these cards now form a compound and thus score points. However, it requires two identical negative charged cards to balance the two positive charges from a magnesium or calcium. Since Noble Gas cards have no charge, they always score points. Any single Noble Gas card scores 2 points. Two different Noble Gas cards score 5 points. And three different Noble Gas cards score 9 points. The point values from sets of Noble Gas cards are added together. If a player has formed a compound that is listed on one of the compound goal cards, they score additional points. If the goal card bears a 2-5, then they score 2 points for forming one of the compounds and 5 points for forming both compounds on that card. If the goal card bears a 3-7, then they score 3 points for forming one and 7 for forming both. Once points are scored for that round, repeat the game setup for the next round. At the end of the third round, points for all rounds are added together and points lost from used action tiles are subtracted. The player with the most points wins. For a simpler game with a younger audience, or in a chemistry class, the action tiles and the four face-up element cards in the center of the table can be left out. For a crowd wanting a game with a bit more strategy, these components should not be removed.